Good evening and happy Friday to all of you. New York's e-cigarette ban has not e ban rather has not even taken effect, and it's only temporary. But a local vape supplier isn't waiting. They're out and they're blaming the ban. Christian Garzon joins us now from Ridge Road in Webster. Christian, this company serviced a bunch of local shops. Yeah, Adam, Bad Drip Labs is uh, directly tied to 16 stores in the local area. In fact, this one right behind me in Webster is tied right to their manufacturing. Now, they are leaving the state and could cut up to 100 jobs. Now, the vice president of operations set with us today. He's an ex-smoker. He says vaping helped him stop smoking cigarettes. One of his big concerns is that other ex-smokers with no vaping will go right back to smoking cigarettes. I think it's unbelievable. Ken Gregory's Bad Drip Labs factory supplies 16 vape stores in the area. He says they're not waiting for the 90-day temporary ban to end, if it even does. The company will survive, but we will not have the opportunity to continue to provide these jobs in New York State. They're moving to North Carolina. In addition to the factory closing and the job losses, a major concern for Gregory is the recovering smokers who use vaping to quit. It's, it's a disaster for consumers in New York State who use this as a life-saving product to stop smoking cigarettes. Quitting sm cigarettes is one of the hardest things a person can do. In a study, the American Lung Association says e-cigarettes are not safe, but the American Cancer Society says they are, quote, significantly less harmful than smoking regular cigarettes. The Center for Disease Control says as of yesterday, 530 cases of lung injury associated with vaping products have been reported in 38 states with seven confirmed deaths. The cause still not determined. With the ban, Gregory says vaping in New York will go underground. The homemade products with the potential to be deadly. I think you're going to see people at risk of dying. Now, Gregory says they might expand some of their CBD sales in the stores to keep some of them open. It's a discussion they're still having. From Ridge Road and Webster, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam, right back to you. Christian, we thank you. The state plans on conducting inspections at vape, sh vape shops and issuing fines for violations starting on October 4th.